We're here with Coach Caleb Nobles. UWF football uh, signing day is in the books now. Congratulations on a great class. And, Coach, uh, you know, kind of seeing these young men come in and out, the transfers that you brought in uh, in January as well. I mean, this is a, it's a big class, and a lot of needs were addressed. No, it was. We, we added 14 guys this semester that uh, we, we did a good job of trying to vet in the process in November and December, trying to uh, make sure we found the right guys first, the right men. Uh, coming from good families and then, you know, obviously try and find a positional need. Uh, clearly, we did that with O-line, D-line, go find the best guys we can in the, in the trenches because that's where games are won and lost. Uh, and so we did that and tried to get those guys here in January. And then we signed 23 yesterday, uh, 17 from Florida, 6 from Alabama, and <laughs> signed a bunch more O-line and D-line and trying to get as many as we can and, and we always have the, the best guys in the trenches and then sprinkle in the athletes around it. I know you like to start, you know, Right around yourself, right? You know, that area, that footprint that's around the University of West Florida. You've got some local guys, West Florida High School in Pensacola, Navarre, some guys from right across the state line. That's important. But then also, you know, reaching down further into the state of Florida. Yeah, of course. I mean, the whole state of Florida, I know it's 10 to 12 hours away from here, but uh, there's so much talent in the state of Florida that's still available to us, uh, being one of the only small schools in the state of Florida. And so uh, we, we try to do that. But obviously start here, start local. Uh, we did a bunch of that recruiting in November, December after our season ended and uh, be able to go see those guys in person, do a lot of in-home visits, be able to get John from West Florida, be able to get Tyrell from Navarre. It's, uh, not only are they close, but they're really good players. So try and find the best guys locally as well. Has it changed a little bit with you know what's going on with the portal, but also the COVID years and kind of guys playing? We were joking beforehand. I mean, guys are, and literally are playing eight, nine years of college football. I mean, that seems like it's creating a backlog. No, I wouldn't say it's changed a little bit. It's changed a lot of it. Uh, it's, there's a whole bunch of things that have gone uh, different since I've been in college, ended the year at UWF, and uh, social media is one of the big ones. you got to stay up to date on that, otherwise you're going to be archaic and uh, so uh, there's a whole lot of changes that you better be able to adapt. You'll get left behind. And our staff does a phenomenal job of making sure they stay up to date with all these things. And yeah, for those out there in Argo Nation, I mean, I'm getting a chance to meet some of these guys as you guys brought them in to, to visit the campus. I mean, there are some incredible looking athletes in this group. And you look into their tape and kind of watch them play. I mean, these are some kids that, you know, in years past could have been playing almost anywhere. Yeah. I mean, unfortunately for a lot of these kids, and they'll tell you, I mean, they're, a lot of these high school kids are still affected by the transfer portal. Uh, there's a lot of high school talent that's out there still available, even still available now, uh, that we're still talking to and trying to get here. And uh, we're trying to benefit from that and trying to sign the best high school kids we can because in the, the day, this is a game about development. So let's bring these guys here and try to develop them for four or five years and become the best players while getting a great degree from UWF. Talk about the lines. You got some you know, talent, uh, talented receivers and defensive backs. Uh, I know Coach Connor on the defensive side of the football, Coach Mello, Coach Rims of those guys, they they found a few in the uh, mix as well. Of course, yeah. <laughs> signing some really good D linemen. Uh, a, lot of, a couple guys from Central Florida. Uh, signing some really good secondary guys as well in Tyrell and uh, bringing in Tony Newsom from Orlando as well. And then we signed four linebackers that we think have a chance to be very good players for us that can come in and make an impact early. And then Oh, Offensive-wise, though, line we tried to sign as many we could, go find the best players, trying to get, go find the long, lean bodies that can run and well, move well in space. And I feel like we did that with a couple of those guys. You mentioned the one quarterback from West Florida, John, and then you got another one. Of course, yeah, Tyree Davis came in on an official visit to come see us, and I went to see him in person at his school, and he's a big, long, tall athlete that can run, uh, does a lot of really good things with his arm, has kind of a whipping motion that we like, and, and then he gets rid of the ball quickly and makes plays with the ball in his hand. So, uh, we, we're excited about both those guys. Talk about the transfers a little bit because I mean that is still you mentioned it. That's part of the equation. So you, you nice balance of both, bringing a big high school class and then bringing some guys that you know played elsewhere and can probably step right in and help. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we try to bring a couple guys in that uh, have had a lot of production uh, college wise. We brought uh, Shawan Lewis and Adam Aiken, two guys coming from the CIAA that were the uh, sack leaders one and two in the CIAA last year, uh, and then Trayvon Mitchell who was. Uh, the first team D conference, our first team all conference D lama right beside John McMullen last year in our conference. So, uh, trying to add guys like that to come in and make an impact. Uh, and I told our staff, we're going to sign these guys. We better go find some O linemen. Otherwise, uh, we got we got to uh, find some guys to block those guys in spring ball. Mismatch so, in practice. Absolutely. Yeah. So, our O line, we got a lot of good returners coming back that we feel good about uh, taking care of those guys. And then we signed a couple guys O line wise Levi Johnson, Ryan Adams, Shane Elam. Uh, and Ryan Hunt trying to bring in those guys to help compete in spring and then, and then still go find some more guys if we need to at spring ball. 
local guy from Milton. That's uh, right. And, and, and also, you, you Argo fans will recognize the last name Elam. That's uh, right. Shane, yeah. Shane's got a legacy. Not the first time here with the Elam, so we, we're trying to keep the pipeline rolling. So if there's any more out there, let us know, please. Coach was saying uh, he'll give his staff a, a little break uh, now. Yeah, but, they need it, yeah. But then it, and, and yourself, and then it turns around, though. I mean, recruiting never stops. But, uh, this, you know, you feel pretty good about, you know, we do. all the work you've done because it, it's a lot of hard work. It truly we do. Is. And in the day, it's, it's not about us as a staff. It's about these kids and being able to celebrate their accomplishments and being able to sign a college scholarship is a big deal. And be able to find a place to go get an education is a big deal. And we think UWF is the best place in the country to do that. And so our staff, I cannot commend them enough for going to find the right people first and not just players. Uh, and so they, they need a little time off, get a little sleep, and, and then we'll get back and get ready to be uh, spring ball in about two weeks. All those Argo alums out there, the kids all say, all the, the ones you bring in when I ask them, and they love the campus and they love, you know, walking around and kind of the nature of it and all the other things. And, and what Pensacola has to offer, it's come a long way. Why can't you, why, yeah. why, why don't you love UW? It's the best place in the country. Coach, congratulations again. Thank you. Look forward to seeing these guys. Spring ball not too far away, and then those high school kids will be That's here right. in the fall, and, and we'll be looking forward to it. I appreciate the time, and as always, go Argos. Argos.